Hollywood heartthrob Timothy Chalamet is donning the purple coat and top hat as he portrays an all-singing, all-dancing Willy Wonka, as a musical Wonka film is currently in the works. I'm Matt Rogers, join me today as we redeem our golden ticket and enter into the magical yet somewhat mysterious past of the fantastic chocolatier. Willy Wonka, the iconic character from Roald Dahl's 1964 children's novel, has quite the ambiguous past, which has always shrouded him in mystery and brought a level of unpredictability to the character. He at first appears as a charismatic mascot for a family-friendly chocolate company, but then cracks begin to show and he becomes a child-punishing sociopath. I want a bigger room. Go ahead. Background aspects of the character were explored in Tim Burton's 2005 film, where Wonka was shown to be the traumatised child of a dentist that has now made an empire by rebelling from his father's strict, candyless upbringing. You even remember what it was like being a kid? Oh boy, do I. Burton's version is one of my all-time favourite movies, and some were against giving Wonka a backstory, and I guess a valid argument could be made that shedding light on his past could make him too much of a good guy and destroy the mystery that makes him so intriguing. But I thought how they did it in the 2005 version fit the tone of the film perfectly and made the climax of the film more impactful. This new take on Wonka starring Chalamet will be solely dedicated to the story leading up to where we were initially introduced to him. This coming off the recent Thread of Origin story movies in the vein of Joker, or more recently Cruella, one would be forgiven for thinking that Wonka's origin story would also be a dark, twisted tale. However, when you look at the people behind this production, that's probably not going to be the case. Simply titled Wonka, it will be produced by those that brought you the Harry Potter series and the live-action Paddington movies, with names such as David Heyman, who is producing, and Paul King in the director's chair. Penning the script is Simon Rich, who is a writer best known for SNL, if you can believe it, but he also was a part of the writing team for Pixar's Inside Out. It has been confirmed that the movie will include singing and dancing, including from Chalamet, which will be great to see. The original 1971 movie was, of course, a musical, and Burton's version to a lesser extent, with music only coming from the Oompa Loompas. Musicals aren't usually known for their dark tones, considering the contrasting, upbeat musical numbers spattered throughout, but it's not unheard of, and I personally would love for the film to have the same tone of something like Burton's Sweeney Todd. We all remember classic scenes such as the boat ride, which are notoriously terrifying, so it might have dark elements, but I'm not holding my breath. For reference, when watching Paddington 2, there's an end credit scene where we see the antagonist played by Hugh Grant in a vibrant musical number amongst prison inmates. Considering this is made by the same people as Wonka will be, my money is on this being more of the style. The official synopsis currently states, quote, the story will focus specifically on a young Willy Wonka and how he met the Oompa Loompas in one of his earliest adventures, end quote. In Burton's version, Wonka famously found the Oompa Loompas in Loompa Land while searching for new exotic candy flavours and trades their labour for their most prized possession, cocoa beans. I somehow doubt this origin story will be the same for this new movie, but it goes to show that we will also likely be treated to a signature Oompa Loompa number. Well, I believe they're going to treat us to a little song. Production for Wonka is expected to begin in September 2021, with the movie scheduled to debut in theatres on March 17, 2023. But in the meantime, Chalamet is having a stellar year for roles, playing the lead role in the film adaptation of Dune, followed by Wes Anderson's new drama The French Dispatch, but that's not all. We'll also see him alongside Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence in Netflix's upcoming disaster flick Don't Look Up, and also confirmed to play Bob Dylan in the biopic called Going Electric. I've really come to appreciate his acting too, where most young handsome actors rely on their looks to put bums in seats at the theatres, Chalamet backs it up with nuanced performances and an obvious passion for the craft of acting. It really is exciting to see his meteoric rise through the industry. Some critics have spoke their mind in light of the film's announcement as to its purpose. Do we really need to know how Wonka got his cane and when he put the hat on his head? Because I distinctly remember putting a hat on top of my head. Look at your short little arms. You could never reach. 
being such a huge fan of the Wonka world and its characters, I actually do want to see that. But my argument to those who are skeptical of this movie is that was what happened when Paddington was announced. Nobody asked for a live action version of the marmalade loving bear, but it ended up with the 2017 movie and its sequel being two of the highest rated movies of all time. So I wouldn't be settling on an opinion this early in the piece. But what do you think? Is Wonka just a money grab relying on the names of the characters it portrays? Or do you think there's a story there that's worth exploring? I'd love to hear what you think, so let me know. I'll be down there in the comments. But be sure to join me as I keep you up to date on all the latest movie news and announcements. Subscribe and ring that bell to not miss a single thing. If you subscribe during this video, then welcome aboard. And if you had a good time hanging out, then spank that like button. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all. Thank <laughs> you.